If you love all the birds and trees, all the fishes in the seas, if you think videos of pets is as good as it gets, this segment is for you. We hope your furry dreams come true. It's time to celebrate Greg's animal friends. Celebrate Greg's animal friends! Yes, it's time for Greg's animal friends, because he's not here doesn't mean we can't have some fun showcasing furry friends, too. Okay, Kat, what do you got? Oh, yes! All right, I don't want to ruin it. Because there's no way to explain this. You just okay. have to see it. So let's roll the tape. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see? Horses. Mm -hmm. And then there's also people dressed as horses. <laughs> <laughs> living out their horse dreams. Now, some people might have a problem with this. I think it's great. Because you know what? That took a lot of, like, passion. And there was many steps that occurred before you're actually out there dressed as a horse with the horses. Like, you have to make the costume, you have to, like, find a guy with horses who's cool with it. <laughs> uh, and that requires a lot of passion and dedication. And a lot of people might think that's weird, but guess what? These people don't care, because they're that happy. They're we should identifying all strive. as horses. The I don't know, we should all so strive <laughs> okay. to be this happy and dedicated to something. Like, I love my husband, but I don't know if I'm as dedicated to him as these people are to their horse dream. <laughs> <laughs> They've definitely done more paperwork. I know a guy in Enumclaw, Washington, who did something similar to this, and it didn't work out too good. Mm. This didn't work out good either because that horse thinks it's mating season. Yeah. <laughs> so he's kicking the leg, and the, the guy in the back said, my turn to be in the front. Like, no, you're good. <laughs> like, no, seriously. This one means he's not stopping. Look. Mr. Look, Hands. He's kicking back like, no means no. No means no. Yeah. I, I also, I wonder how long do they do this for? <laughs> Is it an hour? Is it five hours? Every day. <laughs> and did they pay for the privilege? Yeah. Probably. Okay. Well, they didn't pay for the costume because that was a blank. That's a pretty <laughs> terrible <laughs> costume. Like, if you're going to do it, do it right. That was half-hazard. Yes. yes. All right, Jeff, what do you got? I brought in a n nice little thing. I'm a big sports fan, but if you watch sports, you realize that America's falling behind, even in sports, sports a little bit. Baseball, the best players are Dominican, Venezuelan, uh, Mexican. I think it's all over, you know, in every sport, in every sport you find. But I have got something to present to you, something where we can take back sports in the USA. Roll it. Snake hunting. <laughs> watch this guy. Oh. Great technique. Grip in the head. <gasps> it's dangerous, sure, but finally, I'll be good at something. <laughs> you could do that? Yeah, I'd do it. I'll give it a shot. We start a minor league system. We work our way up. <laughs> cool. How'd that work out for the crocodile guy? Well, you know, he was, he's part of the, one of the forefathers of these kind of white sports. <laughs> <laughs> you probably have one of these snakes, Tyrus. Yeah, I do. Uh, which is, this is funny. This is, makes me laugh. This, that looks like a pet that somebody decided to... Because no one with any right mind leans on all muscle. A snake is basically yeah. one long arm of muscle. And he just rolled in, like, get on me, get on me. And the snake's like, I haven't eaten in a month, bro. <laughs> just <laughs> give me some <laughs> water and put me back in my cage. Uh, we caught him live. And listen, don't talk about the crocodile hunter that way, okay? I'm still a little suspicious about his death. The stingray <laughs> and his best friend was filming it. And then all of a sudden he died and then he married his wife. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Just asking questions. Just asking questions. <laughs> Those are good questions. What about your video? Do you got a video? Uh, actually, I do not have video. I have photos. And I have some new additions to my zoo. Okay. And since we have a tiny host, I will show up some of my tiny uh, new additions. Okay. Now, <laughs> this, compared to... Now, right? this, those are my uh, <laughs> yellow tree monitors. And that, that's a, they decided to get together. That's my Dana Perino. That gecko <laughs> is the size of a quarter. They're little what? tiny ones and they come in crazy. That's the male, he's blue. And you can slow it down because we're trying to drag this segment out in the back. So, <laughs> and that's my, uh, whoever's back there clicking it, relax, kid. The, <laughs> now these are Mata Mata turtles and what's so awesome about them, and that one's eating fish, now we're going to the back. Okay, is Gutfeld here? So, <laughs> but this little <laughs> Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Whoever's doing this is going to be in my cage. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the little tiny Dana Perino gecko. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think they know what a gecko okay, is. Okay, if you don't, you're racist. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I want to be racist. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> Black and smart. <laughs> this, this little tiny Dana right here. Uh, just like Dana, has bright yellow hair, which is questionable whether it's natural or not. And then uh, <laughs> they're called little day geckos, and they come out and they sit on your windowsill all day. And I have about 
50 of them, and I just let them loose. Because if you have a bug problem, instead of using spray, put these little guys in there. They're amazing and they're awesome. Just don't have a cat. Yeah. <laughs> But I that, have a Mancoon cat, and the cat was like, "Thanks." Thank you very much. Uh, and then, like, that was like that was like a snack. Yeah. <laughs> now I have a gecko problem. I got rid of all the flies. <laughs> I, I have a gecko problem. <laughs> Fifty geckos. Brad. All right. So this is a Canadian pig, and he stands up to this black bear. All the other farm animals run away like scared little chickens. This Canadian pig says, "Not in my house," and scares <laughs> off the black bear. So my message to America is just find somebody who's got your back like that pig has got the back of the rest of the farm because that is some, that's some courage right there to front up a bear and Let's ask like, our zoologist about this. Okay, so Tyrus, our bear scared That racist ass pig said, <laughs> he said a racial epitaph. The bear said, oh my, how dare you? And he left. That's what that is. I came here to forage and make friends and the pig's like, we don't want your kind here, darky. No. And he left. <laughs> Tyrus. And it's always a pig headed person who ruins a party. It's always the pig in the room that ruins the party. And they, because oh, pigs are different than everybody else. You know why? Because they go all into everything. They always go too far. The chicken lays the eggs, pigs give bacon. That means the chicken goes in it a little bit, contributes, and the pig has to go all out. And she had to go all out and ruin the party. It was probably the bear's surprise birthday party, and she ruined it. <laughs> I think you should give tours at the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> and tell the stories that went along with it. Up next, i uh, taking lots of breaks, leads to more birthday cake. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.